Hey guys, welcome back to the old YouTube channel. So it's been like 16 days now since my last upload, so I figured I'd better kick my butt back into gear and get back on this YouTube video grind. Um, I have some videos half filmed for you guys, but uh, it's just frustrating crap. Um, so hopefully it all goes through and I can get the videos out for you guys. If not, then I'm out of luck and I'll learn to do better in 2024 here. And since it is the new year, happy new year to you all. Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a new year. Um, and yeah, it's a new year, so new things are coming to the channel. So I've been busy. Just because I ain't been uploading YouTube videos uh, doesn't mean I ain't been doing nothing. Um, I've been really busy. And right now I'm headed to the dentist this morning. And then I got a pretty busy day ahead of me. Um, which is good. It means my ain't be made. So, um, this appointment here is in about 30 minutes. And then I got a customer. I'll be at the house probably right when I get back. To hopefully buy a tractor off of me and then i got another customer come a couple hours later hopefully buy another tractor off of me that i just got in on trade um i just priced it cheap to get it out of my hair because you know i'm getting tired of looking at crap um but i did restock the ebay store with some hats uh we got the old regular ball cap here but it's got the uh it don't have the vented back like this one does so they're both available on the old ebay store link will be in the description and uh yeah if you purchase a sweatshirt or hat off of my ebay store uh you might be a lucky person and get a toy in the order i'll show you the toy when i get back on home um i just bought a whole group of toys and didn't realize I already had this one toy so um I got a lot of money in it but uh I'll give it to one of you guys since I don't need it um and yeah so I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go do my <sighs> crappy dentist appointment and then I'll pick you guys up when I get back home and uh hopefully make some money today I'm feeling pretty numb, but I'm back home now. So, gotta get ready for my first customer here in just a few minutes. And uh, he's coming after this Massey 1155 out here. Hopefully, he takes it because I don't want to look at it no longer. Um, so, before it gets any muddier out here, I need to get the skid loader out here, try to get this thing up to the driveway. Today's Bible verse is going to be coming out of first. Corinthians chapter 2 verses 9 through 16 and it says what no eye has seen and no ear has heard and what has never come into a man's heart is what God has prepared for those who love him now God has revealed them to us by the spirit for the spirit searches everything even the deep things of God for who among men knows the concerns of a man except the spirit of the man that is in him in the same way no one knows the concerns of God except the spirit of God now we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who's from God, in order to know what has been freely given to us by God. We also speak these things, not in words taught by hum human wisdom, but in those taught by the spirit, explaining spiritual things to spiritual people. But the natural man does not welcome what comes from God's spirit, because it is foolishness to him. He is not able to know it since it is evaluated spiritually. The spiritual person, however, can evaluate everything, yet he himself cannot be evaluated by anyone. For who has known the Lord's mind, that he may instruct him?
And there goes the old Massey and a D19 rear end and transmission. So it's been a good morning so far. Um, I got another customer coming here later this, not this evening, but here after lunchtime, after another Massey um, that I just got in on trade. I had a D17 Series 4 out there that a guy wanted the uh, rear end for and uh, priced it to him and he asked me if I'd be interested in trades and I said, yeah, with this much money on top, blah, blah, blah. So um, the wheel and dealing game, as y'all know. Um, so he traded me this TO35 Massey with a loader for the Series 4 rear end and transmission and a little bit else so got a customer coming after it because i priced it cheap i just don't care to look at the stuff um because i'm trying to clean up the place i did buy a package deal and i'm hoping to show you guys here in a later video um i just haven't got it all hauled home yet and i'm hoping i do get it all hauled home hauled home if not then i might be a little frustrated uh, but um yeah the 826 is home i want to do a lot of work to it it's gonna be my raking tractor this year um possibly run a little bit on the square baler i'm not sure yet uh just depends if i get like a bale bandit or a accumulator or whatnot or another cap tractor but um yeah, the place is going to look really different here when I turn the camera, so be prepared. Look at this. It's getting freaking clean out here. I'm so freaking excited. There's really no tractors left, except that 190, which I'll probably just get tore down and the parts I don't want sent to scrap. The tether's for sale. I think I mentioned that in another video. Um, just looking to upgrade tetters um but yeah the place is cleaning up just freaking great um this stuff i just need to finish tearing down and get all them parts on ebay and this all will be cleaned up 7020 is going to become a pulling tractor it just needs picked up the 8010 well i just ruined a video i've filmed half that video for you guys and i just haven't had the time or the drive to finish tearing it down because there really ain't too many had all the parts left on the thing. And then this is all I got left over here. The case cab that was up here sold. It's long gone. Um, yeah, 5030 just needs tore down. The D10 is traded. So that thing will be going bye bye. And then a good 6060 rear end and transmission. But the place is cleaning up really quick yesterday was sunday i didn't sell anything on sunday because i don't do sunday sales but the day before that i sold had about five customers come that day and received a check in the mail for something i sold on auction time um what else i've been selling a bunch on auction time so if you guys um want to do business with me you can always stay tuned to auction time see what i'm bringing in or getting rid of um, the Gator, I did sell it on auction time. I lost $2,000 on that, but I was tired of tripping over it and whatnot. So it is long gone and the barn is nice and empty now. I'm glad. This D10 rear half is leaving with the other D10. So it'll be bye-bye and out of here. And then I got that 190 and a WD in the woods still left and yeah not much else so that's pretty much been um what i've been doing the past couple of weeks is just selling a lot of junk and um saving my money because i haven't really cared to spend any money uh, i'm just saving saving that's what i'm doing i'm saving um so yeah, that's about the gist, catching you up on everything. 
it's just a lot of organizing and cleaning still left to do and a lot of parts to get put on ebay and so forth the kubota bx 2200 that i bought at collins equipment uh consignment sale it's already tore down and all them parts are on ebay for the most part um and yeah the place is just cleaning up super nice and i'm super excited i'm just ready for hay season to come so i can i don't know make even more money but i'm gonna have to buy something here soon because as you guys can tell i don't have too much and um can't make no money if you don't got nothing but the ford 4000 is getting tore down um so i guess if you guys need parts off that tractor shoot me an email i'll be in the description below uh, more of the parts will be on ebay here shortly once i get around to tearing it down but other than that really don't know what else to tell you guys i guess i will pick y'all up later when my customer gets here on the other tractor and hopefully he takes it if not well i got a lot of interest in it so i'm sure it'll leave one of these days so i guess i'll pick guys up later let you know if he takes that tractor or not the to 35 massey is out of the front yard now it's long gone it sold today as well so pretty pumped about that just got a few more pieces and uh place will be pretty clean around here so i just uploaded three pieces to auction time they will be selling on january 31st so if you guys are a green fan john deere fan make sure to head on over to auction time and check them out um because yeah it might be something you're wanting but uh yeah here's a little toy i'm gonna give away it's a h3 crawler alice um so if you guys buy any sweatshirts or ball caps off my ebay store one lucky person will get this in their order um and yeah i just don't need two laying around and i figured i'd rather give it to one of you guys than throw it on the ebay store and get money for it um but yeah it's overall in really good shape looks like it's really never been out of box it's the highly detailed version box is in excellent shape so if you guys are interested in this crawler make sure to go put an order in on my ebay store for a hat or a sweatshirt or whatever and you could be the lucky one to get this toy so um yeah that's probably gonna be a wrap for today's video i'm gonna try to get back on the film and grind uh but we'll see what happens the weather's supposed to be pretty nasty here next week and a half so might be another couple weeks before I get a video out for you guys. But I'll try my hardest to get you another one out next week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Just catching up. If you did, make sure to hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And catch you all next one. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.